and uh, some attacking techniques. So, what is vulnerability? Vulnerability is the weakness in security system. Right? So, any kind of weakness so we, it will be known as vulnerability. It can be misconfiguration, it can be software bugs, it can be you know, weak password, anything. Right? Then, threats. What is threat? Circumstances that have a potential to cause harm. So, any circumstances that can occur in the you know, information system or in the architecture will be treated as or called as threat. And what is controls? Controls are means and ways to block a threat. So you know that, okay, I have this threat. So what uh, you know, action we can take to block uh, this uh, on a particular threat so that it cannot be you know, allow to some attack happen, okay? Which tries to exploit one or more vulnerabilities. Okay, so which threat? The threats are basically, you know, threats are basically exploits the vulnerabilities and controls are something which restrict the threats, okay? Now, if we take a real example, you will understand it, it in you know, very clearly. You can see here there is a city under plug, right? So this is a real image, actually, you know, Orleans dis uh, disaster image. Okay. So there was a hurricane called Katrina. So it was you know, quite uh, popular, uh, and uh, you can understand that worldwide news uh, uh, headline was there regarding this hurricane. So, question is that what what were city vulnerabilities, threats, and controls? So, what are the vulnerabilities of the city? Why does this you know uh, gone under this flood? Vulnerabilities vulnerabilities are there like location below water level. So, this city was located in a place which is below water level. Okay, so geographical location in hurricane area. So these are the vulnerabilities. The same way, if you have uh, IT infrastructure, you are maintaining an in enterprise, your server or whatever, your data. So you have to find out all these kind of things, right? What kind of security mechanism you are uh, using, whether they're up to date or not. So what are the ports are open and which are the port you are taking care of, what services you are blocking in your network, all these things matters. Okay. <clears throat> then for, from the city perspective again, what was the threat to that? As it is in a hurricane area, hurricane prone area. So definitely hurricane is the first threat. Other threats are also there, like as this city is below water level, there is a threat of dam damage, right? If any dam around this city is going to be damaged, it is going to be flooded. Terrorist attacks and so on. So these threats can be analyzed. So you can understand one thing, that in this situation, you can analyze what are the vulnerabilities you have, that means your IT systems have, and what are the threats, uh, you know, can be there due to your uh, vulnerabilities right then comes control so what control this city would have take like uh, you know building dams and other civil infrastructure means uh, you know if really some flood happens then what infrastructure they will use to save the life of citizens then emergency response plan and all these things can be part of the control so in the same same way, if uh, in the you know security system in the IT infrastructure, first thing is you can see dam. That means it is a protective measure. So how you can stop the vulnerability to be executed or you know the threat to be happen. You know? So the protective thing you can just uh, do. You can build some good infrastructure which can again uh, protect you. But if after that also it really going to happen then we can have some uh, you can say precautionary measure or you know up, 
after the things happen what to do right that plan so it is emergency response plan you should have in the same way in the you know the it security system or information security system must have emergency response plan for that we will see that most of the countries or many countries over the world are having their sart in india we have sart in okay cyber emergency response team okay so this is there but uh, you know cyber emer emergency response team is a government organization it is not going to you know for them basically they are always uh, overloaded and for them it is not possible that all the time for uh, anything happening in your network personal or private network there are some companies network to you know, protect them or to handle them so each organization is supposed to have their own you know response plan response team right now you may question a very simple one that is said this cyber attack will happen say once in a five years or there is very low chance that in every year there will be some cyber attack or you know real attack on the uh, infrastructure then why should our company or my company we invest money behind people uh, who are who are going to be you know the part of the response plan or the response team right so that is a question and that, yeah that always you know till date for the companies also they thinks in this way only and they neglect to have this uh, response plan team okay and even the security they uh, used to do, do not uh, uh, you know recruit enough number of security personnel uh, thinking that okay we are a steel company why should we recruit some uh, cyber security person right <clears throat> now in last few years the situation is changing rapidly reason is that you can see that worldwide most of the big companies organization including government and private uh, enterprises have been hacked and their data has been leaked and they faced a huge loss due to that right so the companies are slowly you know, understanding that we, if we don't protect our data if we don't protect our infrastructure uh, in other way around it is going to face us a huge loss and uh, if we want to you know uh, stop this then we have to have this uh, security people in our own okay so this is the situation and uh, this is where you know still uh, there is a huge scope in infor information security okay now what are the attacks okay so attack in short if you say it is materialization of vulnerabilities or threat or combination that means you know that okay this uh, your uh, neighbor who is having a wi-fi router and uh, from your, your place the signal is uh, quite good you can uh, see the signal all the time but if you can know that uh, he is having a weak password right that uh, neighbor is having a weak password if, or if you can guess that is his vulnerability weak password right and you can easily you know guess the password and use his internet okay so or if some you know there is not a real attacker they can even uh, you know track what communication that person is doing even you know installing some malware on the routers change the setting of the routers and see what communication uh, the uh, you know, original owner is doing through this internet connection okay so it is called what materialization of vulnerability okay so anything it can happen like you know uh, say somebody is using windows system right so many times you will find uh, it happened in previously in many operating system there was vulnerability when that uh, operating system was launched okay and uh, some attacker group have uh, you know discovered the vulnerability and they have made a materialization okay? they have done the real attack and there was huge losses okay so it can be through anything okay say a malicious email id came to your you know inbox 
and if you are clicking on it and you are downloading some malicious file to your uh, computer that is your weak point your vulnerability that uh, you know that is a human vulnerability will rather uh, okay so it can happen so there is many things okay which can which vulnerabilities can, can be easily materialized by the attackers and which is called as attack okay? then exploitation of one or more vulnerabilities by a threat tries to defeat control okay then attacks may be successful or unsuccessful if it is a successful then we call it a exploit okay it is an exploitation exploit okay so if there is some successful attack it can result in breach of security a system penetration or etc but if it is unsuccessful then point controls blocks threat trying to exploit a vulnerability then we call it is unsuccessful now here what are the control you can have you may have good uh, intrusion detection system you can have uh, firewalls right uh, proper configuration of the network or all security softwares and operating system and other applications are up to date and developed uh, well, keeping the security in mind in the in all these case this control can work and they can basically you know block many of the attacks okay now come to security threats so here you know, most dangerous threat is the insiders okay however so the threat spectrum can be you know, uh, divided into three parts local threats shared threats and national security threats okay so in local threat it can be recreational hackers or institutional hackers okay so recreational hackers basically they does it uh, just for you know fun a uh, three land uh, ch uh, challenge like you will many times you will find that some website has been defaced that means the home page is changed and some uh, you can say some malicious or unwanted material have been pushed on the website okay so by doing this the attacker actually did not got uh, any monetary you know uh, profit or anything but uh, you know just uh, to three or challenge they is do it but there is institutional hacker whose target of our motive is like you know monetary gain thrill challenge and prestige right so if, you know you okay, can will find many times to show some uh, supremacy you know over other uh, colleague or other company or something if they can you know do some cyber attack or you know on some other systems okay then shared threat like organized crime so it includes revenge retribution financial gain institutional change all these things institutional change means uh, say some um, ex, ex employee you know suddenly he has been sacked and uh, he had some credential of the company and uh, you know before uh, you know before uh, sacking him uh, it was not changed or not taken from uh, him okay so he can do any kind of you know, malicious activity or uh, illegal activity on the system using those credentials okay then industrial espionage what is this it is competitive advanced stage intermediate uh, intermediation okay so this is what you know uh, basically uh, one industry does on other industry okay then comes the terrorist vulnerability publicity chaos political change uh, you know, to perform all these things uh, with all these motives a terrorist can perform different attacks on uh, information systems then national informa uh, intelligence that does attacks for information for political military and economic advantage uh, advantages you know, like you know uh, the national intelligence of one country can um, you know uh, do this kind of attack on some other countries you know military uh, you know infrastructure political infrastructure and uh, some other economic advantage to gain 
okay so this can happen okay then information or so reduce us decision space you know strategic advantage cows uh, then target damage so all these things uh, can happen basically this uh, information warriors are like uh, you know they keeping in mind uh, something to do big damage on the other country or on the you know victims uh, you know uh, ecosystem okay so if you see the current uh, see world situation you know i was uh, listening to some news uh, independent news uh, that uh, um, people are predicting that if russia is going to attack on ukraine they will first attack on ukraine's you know it infrastructure of its you know, military and uh, mobile network and other it infrastructure and first they will do this damage once that damage happens they will not be able to communicate among you know different agencies and that time uh, you know russia may launch a real attack okay so you can understand this cyber attacks are right now considered as a you know for past if in a big war also right then kind of threats there is first kind called interception or disclosure so in this kind of threats what happens an unauthorized party it can be human or some other machine Okay, gain access to an asset. Their asset means to and some uh, private uh, net network and uh, network resources or information. Okay, then they can snoop it. So snooping is uh, the unauthorized uh, intercepting of information. So interception only interception is not enough. After that, what they do? They do interruption and disruption. What is this? An asset become lost, unavailable, or unusable in case of interruption, uh, interruption or uh, disruption. Okay. Then prevention of current operation, like you know somebody is uh, doing some job on uh, you know on the cloud. So some company, data analytics company, they are uh, doing their data analytics uh, learning phase on the cloud. Okay, and some attacker uh, somehow take control of the cloud and you know, put it the job in a infinite loop, or they was able to crash the cloud server. You know, server that means uh, crash the program. Uh, you know, uh, um, in a certain manner. You know, so that uh, for the time being, and the legitimate user who was using the service they will you know lost their uh, results and all okay then denial of service attacks so in previous day i think i had discussed uh, later i will again discuss in detail okay then comes modification an unauthorized party changes the state of an asset that means say in a database uh, there is uh, some data as a banking uh, account statement is there in a database of a bank Okay, now somebody got access to those database and they can change the, the amounts in the uh, you know uh, statement. So it can be a huge chaos into it. Okay, so in the same way it can be you know some uh, secret message is going on. That message can be you know changed by you know some other unauthorized party to create some misunderstanding among the uh, real communicators. Okay, then masquerading or spoofing so it is an impersonation of one entity by another okay and finally fabrication so this modification and fabrication sometimes sounds similar but there is a bit difference okay thin line is there so an unauthorized party counterfeits an asset that means say if you think about uh, you know the original currency and uh, duplicate currency or fake currency. Hmm? So the fake currency does not call as modification of original currency. It's called fabrication of original currency. Okay. So this is the sense here. Okay. Then insert fake object into the system. 
so fabrication is uh, basically you know related to you know fake and fraud but uh, you know in modification it is just uh, keeping the whole thing same a little bit change they does is called modification okay so in case of masquerade there is uh, you know two other thing four other things you can see here first one is called masquerade so what is happens in this in this you can see bob and alice are the legitimate party they are supposed to communicate you know communicate using this internet okay but what happens this attacker darth darth is the attacker somehow disconnected bob from this connection and he pretended that he is bob sorry bob okay and he started the communication uh, with alice okay so this is what is called as masquerade okay uh, another thing can happen here that this darth is simply capturing the messages of bob modifying it putting uh, his own content then sending it again to alice and alice is thinking that she is receiving these messages from bob but actually she is receiving it from darth okay so this can happen then there is a reply attack so what happens in this you can say the bob sends a real message to alice darth copies this message just takes one takes one copy then capture this message from you know bob to alice they just capture other copy from here okay and later reply message to alice that means letter with the same credential of the message puts his own content into it and pretend that he is bob and start communication with alice okay so this is what called a reply attack okay and uh, here is another way you can see that uh, disrupt this is the disruption uh, okay disturbs provided by server so here is a server Darth uh, basically uh, disturb the server by sending Mali, you know, uh, huge number of uh, you can say request to the server continuously. Okay, so what happens due to this? This Bob, who is a legitimate user, he is not doing attack and he will never send you know huge number of uh, unnecessary requests to this server. But as Darth keeping this server busy, okay. This Bob is not going to get proper service from the server. Okay, then the stride model of threads. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six things we need to remember. Okay, we, in, in short, we can call it as stride. Okay, threads. So, first one is spoofing. Spoofing is related to authenticity okay. so <clears throat> basically you know uh, somebody unauthorized is going to spoof okay then is tampering tampering means you are changing the data so tampering is going to hamper your integrity you, you can remember we had spoken about c i a confidentiality integrity and availability and after that also i have added another a for authentication so you can say this is this a this integrity is this i okay then uh, repudiation or is uh, that means either party in the communication is uh, denying the fact of communication what they have communicated uh, either is and the source is denying that he have sent uh, the message or on the other hand it can be on the receiver end the receiver is denying of receiving a message okay so this or uh, you know hampers the concept of non repudiation so i had a n also here so i can say oh, sorry okay then information disclosure it hampers the confidentiality of the communication 
okay c for confidentiality then denial of service due to denial of service the ability availability hampers so this we can see here and evaluation of privilege that means elevation of the privilege that means so there is a user who is having a very less privilege say you know just check balance of uh, uh, of individual customer so by somehow you know say if he uh, that uh, particular user elevates you know, his privilege unauthorizedly Okay, unauthorizedly, he have started downloading, uh, say, the bulk, you know, customer detail. Okay, so that is what will be called unauthorized uh, thing or unauthorized action he is doing. So another A I had written here. You can remember this. So I think you understand that there is. You know, six threat corresponding to all these six property of uh, information security. Okay. Now, first thing I had spoken about spoofing. So the attacker steals your identity. What happens in spoofing? Basically, attacker steals somebody's identity and start pretending that uh, I am that particular person. Okay. So how it looks like, you can see here, say a customer is logging into his online banking system using logging password, okay? But some attacker have captured this login password, okay? This login password. And using this, he started login, logging in to the online banking system of this customer okay so this person is going to be a victim now okay then what what kind of thing they can happen they can do this attacker the attacker can pay shopping bill using you know the account of this person okay so there will be monetary loss to this person or victim right then so it is uh, something like this you know this person you know author, authorized himself uh, in another case uh, there is a wireless uh, access point okay uh, so this person you know authenticated to this that uh, my name is bob and he's authenticated and this thing was you know spoofed by this attacker now later this attacker can do the same thing you know by pretending himself bob he is sending my name is bob and you can it can happen that he's got uh, the really authenticated by this okay and he got a reply welcome bob okay so this is what happens in spoofing okay then is tampering the attacker alters your data in tampering okay so in the general meaning also we understand tampering means means nothing but altering something right so you can understand here there is an attacker and there is a pc you can say somebody's private uh, property you can say okay he is doing a project okay here okay now this attacker sends some malicious some malicious uh, code to this victim's pc okay then it can happen that uh, this you know data this this data what uh, the user is using can be modified or encrypted so it can be something looks like you know ransomware kind of thing okay <coughs> then uh, repudiation so what happens in this the attacker makes your system believe a transaction never happened understand like you know you have paid to on some you know you want to purchase something from online e-commerce website and you have really paid the money okay but the attacker basically you know comes in the picture and believes or you know uh, uh, 
tempers or you can say this come make the com- changes in the communication such way that uh, the uh, legitimate user started believing that there was uh, no transition but actually the transition was happened it can be something like this like you can see here the attacker is there okay the attacker is there here is the shopping cart okay attacker purchased something from this e-commerce website up to this no issue then the e-commerce website sends <coughs> the you know item to the attacker okay then the attacker attacks on the e-commerce website okay and they send some malicious code uh, to make some changes the change can be something like you know uh, this item was you not know, been uh, you know delivered or the, you know how this uh, you know how this e-commerce websites are maintained they uh, you know keeps record that what items has been delivered what is not delivered but if the attacker is able to you know uh, erase the data that this item was delivered okay so you know, they, you know this website will have to believe that okay it is it was not delivered have to refund the money right so it, this is the thing happens here okay so it uh, you know sends a malicious code to the website to change the data okay uh, and uh, it denies that okay this uh, this transaction that means uh, the attacker denies of receiving of the item okay and so what happens the e-commerce website have to return his money okay so this is what you know uh, this one party was denying of receiving the items okay then comes information disclosure the attacker publishes confidential information in you know in the open domain so one of the most uh, you know uh, worldwide known uh, event in this is wikileaks wikileaks right so you know that um, with the owner of the wikileaks i'm forgetting his name he is usually treated as a criminal uh, right in many countries what is the reason basically that person collects the confidential information from the government archives okay and puts on a website called wikileaks uh, that means he puts the you know, secret information on the public domain okay so this can be a way of doing it uh, you know they send some uh, the attacker sends a malicious code uh, to the server okay then from the server it retrieves some login and password right then <clears throat> he then uses this login and you know using this detail he can collect money from the others okay so that is what uh, so what happens yeah so he put this login and password in the open domain so that you know other uh, he can sell this to others okay and collect money okay so this can happen then denial of service as i was telling you the attacker makes a system unavailable how the attacker can make a system unavailable the attacker have to block the system right so what attacker does attacker sends you know many requests continuously to a network research that network research can be a server it can be a router or any other thing okay and this resource gets busy into you know resolving all these requests okay and as it becomes busy the legitimate users when they request to have services from this resource that does not uh, get a chance to you know get a chance to access the real services and other thing you know that does uh, you know when this request number of request goes uh, too high then this you know resource can handle then it is going to be crash okay once this uh, once such uh, once such network device is you know going to crash it is go- either you know need to be manually restarted or need some uh, human you know, maintenance in- interferences understand so in this way the attacker can do some device unavailable 
और इट कैन बी इन देयर कैन बी अ डिफरेंट वे ऑफ क्रैशिंग अ सिस्टम यू नो फ्रॉम रिमोट ओके देयर इज अनदर थिंग कॉल्ड डीडॉस आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डिनाइल ऑफ सर्विसेज सो एज आई वाज टेलिंग यू द अटैकर सेंड्स यू नो ह्यूज नंबर्स ऑफ ह्यूज नंबर्स ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट टू द पार्टिकुलर रिसोर्स टू यू नो क्रैश इट but uh, always you know being a single you know system you know with a single system with the attacker it is very hard to crash a high end uh, you know resource of, of a network so what this attacker does attacker creates the malicious code okay and puts uh, may on many machines you know in random machines on your machine on my machine also this code can come and this code will not directly hamper our machine okay or our system it will just uh, create our system uh, part of our system resource as a boat okay so we are not uh, going to do anything that boat will do whatever they need to do from our system so if once our systems are uh, you know uh, affected by some ddos malicious uh, you know uh, you can say botnet a uh, part of botnet okay then what happens these boats you know boats means the you know system affected with uh, the malicious code okay so these boats start sending the request okay as many as possible from each of the infected machine now you think about the situation that one attacker okay he have infected worldwide uh, say the 1 million systems all 1 million systems are ready to send a continuous request to a network resource and say so this network resource is uh, some banks uh, you know uh, some banks web server okay so within a fraction of second it can be you know this attacker can make too much of this requested you know from which are going to be generated from all this 1 million system infected systems and uh, you know this server can be easily get crashed so this is what called as distributed denial of service okay so this is what you can see then evaluation of sorry elevation of privilege so uh, it is also <clears throat> known as privilege escalation the attacker gets administrator right on the system understand <clears throat> so you can understand the attacker you know log gets initially a minimum access to the particular system or resource of the on the network it can be some server or anything okay <clears throat> by putting some malicious code or getting some you know username password uh, you know by doing some social engineering or something somehow it gets a minimum access to the system then it tries to escalate and that means you know getting access to more uh, you know privileges on the server up to the root privilege once they get they have the total control on the server understand so after escalation you can see that uh, the attacker can have the uh, root privilege on the uh, server on the resource then they can use this resource as they want okay so threads are multiple and so are the vectors like you know we need to see the hardware security network security software security and social engineering okay and 